One of my favorite sol uh, philosophies, um, Socrates said, as for myself, all that I know is that I know nothing. But believe me, with regard to street life, I dare to say I do know something. I know how it's molded, I know what the shit smells like, and I dare to say that I even know the quickest shortcut to hell. But to make you believe in what I have just said, let's start from the beginning. I'm 28 years old, I come from Riga, the capital city of Latvia. We don't have Brooklyn or Bronx in uh, Latvia, but um, as far as I know, uh, street life doesn't differ much from Bronx and Riga. I would like to shortly, uh, shortly um, uh, describe to you how I changed my life from the street kid to who I am now. I'm, you know, um, I was, since I can remember, I was a hooligan, all the time hooligan, making a lot of trouble. And my life first time changed when a talented coach took me into sport. I was able to unload my negative energy and uh, replace it with a positive one. Thanks to motivation gained in sport, I graduated uh, secondary school, entered university, created my own business, and uh, of course then I left sport. <laughs> so, but things changed and um, financial crisis, bankruptcy, and uh, negative emotions consumed my life. Um, you know, and then three years ago, I had a chance to try a street workout. I was really surprised how street workout impressed me. It lifted and guided me back on the track. You know, and um, soon after that, I realized that street workout can give a new sense for the street kids. Um, just how sport had helped me. Uh, because not money, not coaches, not a lot of time, no parent support, no so social status is needed. And the sport itself, it's, it's not only entertaining, but it's uh, completely social. So, what is it, street, uh, what, what is it, this street workout? First of all, I want to say that it's not a Chinese gymnastics, it's not break dancing, it's not parkour, and it's not some kind of street yoga, believe me. <laughs> Let's make an experiment. Please raise your hands, those who have ever done simple push-ups. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> and now please raise your hands, those who have uh, ever done simple pull-ups. Uh -huh. Okay. So, you see, more than half of the audience, I will say whole audience, <laughs> had practiced street workout basics in their life. It's an old candy in new paper. I will show you now how simple push-up can be done in a different, interesting way. So street workout is about being creative, working anytime in a street. And together it sums into a dynamic workout, developing several muscle groups all at once. But the best part in street workout is the social part. Training with others, supporting one another, and uh, creating, creating um, Small, simple competitions to work out with fun. <laughs> Thank you.
As in every sport, especially with street kids, believe me, the very strict rules and very st strong discipline is needed. Uh, street Workout has a written code that uh, no one is allowed to use abuse language, split on a training area, of course use alcohol and drugs. We are against any kind of hatreds, like uh, ethnic, religious, no hatred in our organization, in our movement. Our principle is that stronger supports weaker, and uh, believe me, uh, from my experiments, uh, from my exp <laughs> experience, uh, these, <laughs> these strict rules don't deter new followers. Just the opposite. New athletes, especially street children, becomes our followers. So, what have been the results? What is the social impact of this method? Some quick facts about Latvia. I began practicing street workout and created an organization in 2009 with the aim to attract youngsters to street workout. In these short three years, we have attracted more than 15,000 young people all around Latvia. We are only 1,7 million, so we are a very small, small country. So, um, you know, and um, we have managed uh, more than 360 school visits, um, created 38 places all around Latvia where youngsters can practice street workout for free. So, and in this short period of time, I have seen a lot of stories of success, how street kids find their passion in the street workout. Um, at the beginning, they couldn't even do this two simple pull-ups. Believe me, after three months, they not can only do 15 pull-ups and show some basic tricks like but um, what's really important, they have found new friends, they have filled their free time useful, they become, become healthy and fit, and they raise their self-esteem, not only in streets, but in also in other parts of their life. Since the um, biggest concentration of street children are in juvenile prisons, I have tested um, street workout effectiveness even there. I have ever visit, visited every single juvenile prison in Latvia, and now all the juvenile prisons in Latvia has a street workout program. The secret of street workout is that it uh, allows you to unload this negative energy and creates positive emotions. And even classic pedagogues admit that. And you know, <laughs> once, once I received the letter from the most, really most dangerous prison uh, in Latvia, where from the <clears throat> one prisoner I was asked to come to show some street work elements, <laughs> I really, I was too busy to come, so I rejected. But in next five days, prisoners from that prison sent me more than 180 letters insisting on my visit to them. <laughs> yes. Of course, I visited them, of course. And uh, after some period, uh, I um, get the message from the prisoners manage, uh, prison's management. And it said that violence in this prison has dramatically decreased as a result of street workout. Street workout has now become a part of daily routine um, for the prisoners, and in the summer, Street work, uh, <laughs> in the summer, management will open up a new street workout field. So, um, you know, guys, I'm happy and proud that I can spend my time attracting and inspiring others to become a part of our street workout movement. Um, the change has already started, giving us an initial excellent result with this huge snowball effect. I have created also World Street Workout Federation, and now only thing we need is to believe that even with the limited finances, we can achieve 
big goals. Make the world a better place where the juveniles and other people, despite their social level, can find in their life new meaning, more healthy, more friendly, and more socially inclusive. Thank you.